Hello? 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 The reason I wave is for social media to get your attention. To watch this video, my name's D7 here at Grok Trade, the weekend edition. Good to Sunday, November 5th, 26, 2017. <laughs> I'll be your host for the next few minutes, giving you the very best technical analysis. I am the host of Grok Trade. I am the owner and founder of Grok trade and the markets in the day on Friday mixed but mostly bullish Nasdaq doing the best up almost 1% due to Apple's earnings small caps down financials down 0.4% crude oil up 1.7% gold down a half percent silver down one and a half percent VIX 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 fear dropping by eight percent Bitcoin up 2.8%. We're going to look at Bitcoin. We're going to be looking at all these commodities. We're going to be looking at the daily, weekly, monthly. We're going to look at the Dow 30, the tech stocks. I'm going to be giving you the whole ball of wax. So I'm going to be moving very quickly here. Before I do, as I shared in Wednesday's video, I'm doing an experiment. My experiment is simply this. I am, until Wednesday, this coming up Wednesday, I'm going to analyze your individual stocks that you're interested in. I'm going to burn a video like the video you see here, looking at the technicals, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. I'll probably give you fundamental thoughts too on what fundamentally, if it's strong or weak, and I'm going to do that for a price. So I'll analyze your stock for you for 50 bucks. I'll do three of them for $100. And all you have to do is send me an email at des at groktrade.com. And I will give you my PayPal account number to make that happen. And within 24 hours or so, you're going to get a video from me on all my thoughts on your individual stock. Moving on. Here is the Spiders ETF. Check this out. We have this big uptrend. Up, 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 up. Markets are just red hot, going well. Daily chart, I've got a couple of trend lines drawn here. As long as we can stay between these trend lines, it's going to be really, really bullish, especially above this lower trend line. Markets look very strong. Before I do that, let's go to the weekly chart here on the spider. You can see that we're up, 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 up. We're pretty extended to the upside here. You'll notice I also have these arrows. Guys, if you're new with us, these are calls that I've made publicly for everybody to see. Oh, and a big shout out to Ricardo. Ricardo actually went through all of my charts, analyzed my buys and sells, and put them in a really nice spreadsheet. I owe you one, my friend. So anyway, big thank you for taking the time to do that. It he said it took him a long time. But anyway, these arrows are public calls that I made. This is on a weekly chart here. Very excited to the upside, but we still have some way to go before we hit a resistance. Quick look here at the monthly. Now, the monthly is very, very, very extended. Ricardo only did my dailies. He, did it, he didn't do my monthlies or uh, weekly calls. But you can see our callback here was uh, exactly a year ago, 2016, 11-1-2016. So for the past solid year, every month for the most part has gained. We have just gone up, 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 up. That's very, very long in the tooth is what we say here. Let's take a look at the diamonds, the Dow. Here is the daily. The daily, as long as we stay between these red lines all as well but here's the problem we hit resistance we come down at support we keep hitting support like it's ready to break down this could be looking a little toppy to us on the dow 30. quick look here at the weekly if you look here at the weekly we are getting near resistance on the weekly chart we're near resistance and sure enough we should start to see sellers if we get up there to that and Put my phone over here to the side. Quick look at the monthly. I mean, the monthly, we're just getting started. So just, just getting started. So we're going up, 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 up. We're starting the month off pretty well here. So all is well. Okay. 
Open. All right, let's look at the NASDAQ. Now, NASDAQ, like I said, Apple did fairly well, up like 2.5%, 2.8%, something like that. But nice, nice rally to the upside on the Qs. Everything's looking good on the daily, on the weekly chart on the Qs. Up, 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 up. A lot of upside potentials yet for NASDAQ, as far as the weekly is concerned. Just a quick look here at the monthly. Got a sell on it. Why is do I have a sell on this? Why sometimes I wonder if my calls are not there. Anyway, that's got a sell on it here. Did not turn it back around or it has disappeared. See, I'm I think that I have some of these indicators disappearing. So there's no reason why this one didn't have a buy signal on it. Not sure what happened there. Okay. Small caps, which is very important to look at. Small caps daily, if you look here, we went up, 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 and then we go into what's called a bullish pennant pattern, and we're at a support level and below the 20-day moving average. This looks to be more bullish than bearish. However, if we do break down below this red line, this support level, that will not be a good thing for small caps. But every time we start to dip below it, you can see that we're buying them right back up. This weakness, they buy it back up. Weakness, they buy it back up. Weakness, they keep buying it back up on these small caps. Quick look here at the weekly chart. Up, 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 up. I'm going to remain with my bullish call on this one. And it is, yeah, I'm still looking good. It looks like this is setting up to go higher. Quick look here at the monthly. I'm seeing monthly here. I had a sell and then I turned around and made it a buy. I'm not sure why the other chart didn't show that. It's the weirdest thing. And we're up, up, up. But under a little bit of pressure here on the monthly compared to the other major indices. Financials. Let's look at the daily chart on this one. You see that we're in an uptrend, but we're hanging around this area of support. If it breaks down, look for it to break below the 20-day moving average, and that could be bad. If you look here at the weekly chart, you go higher, 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 higher. We have a tweezer top. Now, these are kind of a spinning top type formations, but that's a tweezer top, guys. Very, very bearish. We have a great chance of this dropping going into Monday. So know that this is a big time bearish pattern. Look how equal these candlesticks look. The lows are the only thing that's different. The rest of it's very, very similar. It's very bearish tweezer top on the weekly chart on financials. And let's look, take a quick look at the dollar. We look at the dollar, got a buy on here. We're going up, 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 up. I mean, it's looking fairly strong. The US dollar, if you go to the weekly chart on the US dollar, we had a breakout back here. We called it a buy. We we're going higher. We're above all major moving averages. Looking pretty good there. Looking pretty good there. And the month is just getting started. So I want to look at the a monthly. So the monthly just ended here. So because the monthly has ended on this one, I mean, arguably, I could put it on this one. I actually should because this one, once the candlestick closes, then I put the call on it. We're only three days in to th this month. So I'm comfortable putting it here on this one because we're only three days in. Regardless of what I see here, I do have a higher high, higher low, under a little bit of stress with the 20-month moving average. But I think that that's a, a certainly a buy call. So if we go to crude oil, crude oil on the daily, look at this. Up, 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 boom, breaking all sorts of resistance, looking very strong. If you look here at the weekly chart, Got a sell on it. Ugh. Got resistance. I'm going to stay with my sell. I'm underwater on my sell on this one. Underwater on it. If you look here at the the monthly, we're starting to rise higher. We did close this month. Check it out. This last month, we just closed over that trend line. So there is that. Again, this is a monthly. There's 30 days in a month. So we're just getting started in this new month. This is uh, not... Uh, this is just getting started. It doesn't matter. So this is virtually the end of this past month. That's why the call's there. Hope that makes pragmatic sense to everybody. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Gold. Gold. I got a 
buy on this one up, up, up. But look at it hit its head and dropped. I got to buy it. So I'm underwater on this one, on, on gold. Oh, boy. Let me see. That is... Yeah, I may be doing a sell on this one soon, but I'm not willing to do it yet. So if you look here at the weekly chart, let's see what's going on with the weekly. The weekly, I got a buy on it. We're pulling back, same thing. Same thing, and silver. Oh, we could have a death hook right here. Oh, boy, this could be a death hook. Got a buy on it. Um, I'm gonna get. I think. I think gold and silver is looking really bearish, guys. But I'm gonna give it a little breathing room here to see if it will pop. Uh, but it doesn't look good. Here's the silver weekly. It's under the 20 week moving average. Oh man, it's just not looking good, guys. Gold and silver is not looking good. Not at all. Sorry, Vex. Fear and care. Whoa, the daily. Check this out. I got a buy on it. Now I've got to go to, with a decisive sell on this. We close. Look at this below a major area of support. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. If you go here to VIX, up, oh, and I got to switch this around. So the VIX has done a, an about face. And Bitcoin, before we get into this, look at this Bitcoin on the daily. Boom, to the upside, man. It's right hovering around, around 7,200. Wow, 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 wow. A little extended. Look for a pullback for a good entry point. If you look at the weekly charts, take a look at the weekly. We've got a buy back here and up, 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 up. Looking good. Bitcoin rock solid. GBTC, which is... Bitcoin got a buyback here on the 19th of October. We're up, up, up. Look, the weekly on that got a buy here. Boom! Big, big week for GBTC. And the monthly just up, 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 up. Okay, let's look at some Dow 30. Apple had a big pop today, up 2.6%. Boom, I have a buy on it back here on 1027. Here's the problem, we're at resistance and close below resistance. That's gonna be a big time problem area for Apple. Big time problem area for Apple. AXP, I got a buy on it from September 11th going higher. And so that's all good. BA, got a sell on it, turn around, put a buy on it yesterday. And that's where we're at now. Caterpillar, got a buy on it back here August 30th. I'm still good with that. Cisco, got a buy on it. Had a sell and a buy. Kind of choppiness going on here. Let's see what happens with that. CVX, got a sell on it. I'm good with that sell still. That was back here on the 18th of October. And Disney have a buy on it right now but we're coming into earnings on the 9th and ooh this one uh, this is that Dow DuPont I have a sell on it from here and it's starting to break down this is a bad one to be in right now GE put a buy on GE so there's our buy on GE guys Goldman Sachs a lot of choppiness got a buy on it I'm okay with that HD got a sell on it I'm okay with that IBM got a sell on it. Wow, I'm really good with that. This is down, 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 low base, break down. This is IBM's not looking good. Intel, uh, Friday, we put a sell on that one. Johnson & Johnson, down, 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 low base. Looks like it's going to get bearish, but I still have a buy on it. This one's suspect, man. I kind of wish I had a sell on this one right now, but I don't. I might get back some profits. We got a buy on JP Morgan back here on September 11th up 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 high base that could break out further coca-cola got a buy on it um, but that's looking like it's trouble wish that was a sell so I'm not confident in that one McDonald's got a buy on that one I'm confident in that one 
Triple M, put a buy on it yesterday. I'm okay with that. Merck, got a sell on it. Then I put a buy on it um, Friday. So Friday, got our buy on it. Boom, look for that one to take off. Uh, Microsoft, up, 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 high base. I'm good with that. Nike, got a buy on it on the 16th. We're still going good with that buy. Got a buy on this one on 11 one uh, but that's going to turn around and be a sell fast, I think. PG, got a buy on that one, but it's not going anywhere yet for Procter & Gamble. Travelers, got a buy on this one going up. Let's see if it can sustain. UNH, UNH, got a buy on that going higher, looking good. And UTX, got a buy back here on 914, and I'm still good with that, but it looks like I'm going to put a sell on that one soon. Verizon, or Visa, Visa got a buy on that one on October 23rd. We're going up, good. Verizon got a sell on this one on October 24th, and I'm good with that sell. Walmart, Walmart got a buy on this one. We're going higher. I'm okay with that. And Exxon um, put a sell on it on Friday. There's our sell on Exxon. Look for that to continue to drop. Let's look at tech stocks, guys. Tech, 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 tech stocks. And one thing to do before I get into the tech stocks, freeonlinetradingeducation.com. This weekend, we've got some webinars coming up. Pick your webinar, join us, fun time. So free online trading education.com, but be ready to take a lot of notes. How to build wealth as a trader. That's a big one, guys. How to find the best trades, how to win at day trading. So these are our three favorites. Go and take those. And tech stocks, where you looked at Apple, Amazon. You got a buy on Amazon. October 27th, and that is still going higher. Baba, I got a buy on this one. I'm going to stay with my buy, even though it's under some pressure. Yeah, Baidu, I have a sell on it, and I'm good with my sell. So that sell was back here on October 18th, and it's down quite a bit for shorts. Cisco, got a buy on it. Let's see what happens. Catfish, got a sell on it. Let's see what happens. eBay, got a buy on it. Oh, boy, let's see what happens. Facebook, got a buy on it. It's pulling back a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Google's been on fire. Look at this. Google got a buy on this one on the 25th. Boom. On the 25th. Boom. It's looking really, really, really good. GoPro had a sell on it. And I was under heat. Remember I was talking about that? Say, like, oh, man, I'm under pressure. Look what it did after earnings. Big drop. So I'm really good with my sell call that I did on September 29th for shorting. Microsoft, we got a buy on Microsoft on September 29th. We go higher. High base, look for that to continue higher. NVIDIA, I got a buy on this one, breaking resistance. So I'm good with that one. Oracle, up, up, up. Almost put a sell on it yesterday. Wanted to today, but I'm I'm going to stay with my buy call at this moment. Let's just see what happens. Priceline, got a sell on it under a little bit of heat, but we stay below the 20-day moving average, but we're dropping, so I'm okay with that. PayPal, Got a buy on it as of October 20th, and it is heading higher, looking very, very strong. Red Hat, got a buy on it on September 26th, and we're building a high base, look for that to go higher. Snap had a sell, then a buy, and it's all over the place. It's building a triangle, and I got a buy on it right now, look for that to go higher. We have earnings coming out on November 10th, Twitter, Got a buy on it. I'm sitting through a little bit of pain here, but I'm okay with this for the time being. We'll see if it's going to go higher, but something tells me this is going to continue to get weaker. Let's see if that happens. And as a reminder, grogtrade.com, but go to freeonlinetradingeducation.com for their webinars. And if you want me to do a video for you to go into great detail on technical analysis, I'll do that. It's an experiment. I'm going to do it until this Wednesday. So for you guys that did this, I'm getting great feedback. So happy to be of help. But it's for a fee, 50 bucks for one stock that I'll analyze. And then I'll look at the daily, weekly, and monthly on your stock and really analyze it on video. 100 bucks will do three of them for you. Send me an email at des, D-E-S, at grocktrade.com. And once you do that, I'll let you know how you can PayPal me those funds or send me some cash.
much. <laughs> anyway, hope all is well with you guys. That is it. I just spent some time in Canada. I was up there at a Comic Con. And yeah, good. Everyone says, hey, there. And I had the chance to eat um, what's called uh, poutine, if I'm pronouncing that right. It's french fries with gravy on it. Really good stuff. Not good for the midsection, but great otherwise. And the dollars there are coins, and they're two dollars or coins. They're not dollars like dollar bills we have here in the U.S. And the one dollar coin is called a loony because there's a loon bird on it. So the two dollar is toony because it rhymes with loony apparently. <laughs> anyway, um, they were very hospitable. Enjoyed Canada, and thanks for having. Me. So there you have it. Take care. We will catch you guys later.